if you're setting your Windows 11 computer for the very first time, you need to choose what type of user account you're going to use it. This account is going to define the user ID and the password that you're going to enter every time you sign into your computer. So the first thing would be, what is this user account all about? To understand that, uh, it's actually a security barrier for your computer so that nobody can use your computer without the user ID and the password. And another reason for having the accounts to sign in, uh, like uh, you could set it up a uh, multiple accounts on the same computer so that uh, different people can use the same computer while keeping their files and configuration and other important information as a separate so most people only have an account user account on their computer just the one account will be mostly will be used but multiple accounts also a very good option to have for example could be schools or maybe universities so you might have more than one account can be used so now let's understand what type of account to be used within this so coming back to the use cases there are two different accounts that can be used firstly with the win starting with the windows 11 uh, you could actually use a account called online account that's gonna um, sync up everything with your Microsoft online account in case if you do not have that account you could actually create a one so this is uh, the account which you could use here your work or your school account the same email ID and the password um, which will be considered as a Microsoft online account so when you use that account so the same password for your emails will be used the same password can be used to log into your computer you may already have your online account or you may need to set it up one if you don't have so this account gives an identity on Microsoft online services it also gives you access to your outlook.com or your email accounts and also free cloud storage which we use as the OneDrive and accessing many other online services that are offered with your online account for example Microsoft Store also can be integrated and Microsoft online account is also required to make purchases in Microsoft App Store to use some of features of uh, bundle within the Microsoft Windows 11 and other options uh, would be to set it up the basic user account so I can choose here as a domain join instead so what happens is with this uh, this is a second type of account um, that uh, can be used in case if you do not have a online account or you don't want to use an online account or the computer is not connected to internet in that situation you would be you know, using the local account or domain join account so simply enter here for example my username uh, and then the password so I can simply choose the simple password if you see here there's no complex and it's gonna ask for me to enter a passcode well, super security codes and once you enter this information it's gonna create the account so you could choose your privacy settings all of that stuff and accept it but in case if I choose as online my all the settings is gonna come up automatically for me so if I choose here as accept it's gonna check up for the setup and then it will continue so within this lecture what we have learned is we learned the two different type of accounts that can be used one is the local account other one would be the online account just in case if you are using Windows 10 and you are trying to upgrade to Windows 11 you can still continue to sign in into that same account there's no problem on that path and uh, it it's gonna uh, you can use even multiple user accounts uh, if you would like to you know, make that you could you know or use that uh, with a shared computer with other people also once you clicked on once you set it up the configuration it just asks to log in so by default 
um, this is the first account that we created as a paddy I can, I can simply log in with the simple password that I have already configured that's it that's how you could use a logon uh, for the local account so we will be discussing in the next lecture about the first time setup uh, sign-in options with the online configuration along with the pin